You don't even know you're using mobile technology. It's with you, it's like the air. The website has become sort of passe, I think, now. Uh, everything is on mobile. This generation, the mobile phone is our teddy bear. The mobile phone, I will say, has become part of the ecosystem. It has become the default device. In this economy, you just have to, have to be flexible, you have to react because everything is moving. And that's the exciting thing about it. There's so much that is happening right now that it's impossible to ignore. You walk on the street and you can tell that things are different. Things constantly, constantly changing. You have to adapt, and I think that's a really beautiful thing. And instability makes you more willing to try new ideas. A instabilidade ela provoca os meus instintos criativos. A já a instabilidade ela é monocromática, tem uma cor só, né? E né, diante do, do desconhecido é que você sabe quem você é de, de verdade. Né? Mas te permite também você criar mais, você pirar mais, você inventar mais, você ser de outras formas. Você não precisa ser exatamente hoje como você foi ontem e como você vai ser amanhã. But identity is like technology, it will be changed constantly. I also don't think it's a bad thing at all. I'm developing more my own identity because of like-minded people, I think than probably if I was just stick local. So for me now, finally, I'm like, oh, I can actually interact with somebody across the continent and, you know, what do we have in common? What do we not have in common? I'm now actually coming to terms with the term African because, like, it doesn't mean anything to me, actually. The identity of self isn't as important as the, the identity of the, the network or the people that you identify with and who you connect with social networks and mobile technology provide me some sort of spiritual home. Mobile technology, it's giving power back to individuals and we didn't have that for a long time. Opportunities here are just immense. I feel like you can reach out and touch the energy. It has, uh, has a great implication for disrupting a lot of uh, old strong held beliefs that we have. Everybody can be their own journalist. Uh, that real-time interaction, that real-time voice, is actually affecting politics on a day-to-day. -day. Being really mobile and flexible in, in working means that economy is, is getting quite vivid. There's lots of ideas maybe that don't work, and there's lots of failures and lots of uh, mistakes, but this is not bad, it's good. The traditional sense of I will go to school, come out and look for a job is not as strong as I will go to school and then create a job based on what I'm interested in and what I'm good at. I feel like there's another wave coming. I don't know quite where, but wherever it is, if I see an opportunity for myself, I'll hop on that wave and, and discover new things. For people that accept the risks of change, it's a new world. I hope that by the feeling of being connected, that people can actually realize that in reality, we are connected. And there's a beautiful quote by Charles Darwin. It is not the strongest of the species that will survive, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is most adaptable to change that will survive. Where will this all lead to? I don't know. And that's the exciting thing about it.